Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Math School Learn to Succeed. In this channel, I'll be teaching you Karnataka Board Class 10th SLC Insert Math. In today's video, let us solve the example number 2 from chapter number 10 Quadratic Equations. In my previous videos, I have solved the example number 1 from the same chapter. If you have not watched that video, please find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So before we begin our video today, please like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos. So example number 2 from chapter 10 Quadratic Equation says check whether the following are quadratic equations there are four parts of the question and they have given certain equation and we have to check whether this forms an quadratic equation or not so let us begin with the first part of the question which says x minus 2 the whole square plus 1 is equal to 2x minus 3 so let us simplify this equation and find out whether this forms a quadratic equation or not so first let us take the left hand side of the equation so left hand side of the equation let us simplify and find out so this is what x minus 2 the whole square plus 1 a minus b the whole square form so what is a minus b the whole square is given by a square minus 2 a b plus b square so let us write the result for a minus b the whole square where a value is x and b value is 2 so a square will be x square minus 2 into a value is into x into b is 2 plus b square is 2 square and plus 1 this term is outside so this is plus 1 we can write x square minus 2 into 2 is 4x minus 4x plus 2 to the 4 plus 1 so this will be x square minus 4x plus 5 so this is the left hand side term now we have simplified the left hand side so let us equate the left hand side with the right hand side that is 2x minus 3 so left hand side it is x square minus 4x plus 5 is equal to 2x minus 3 so let us send this right hand side terms to the left hand side so this will be x square minus 4x plus 5 so this plus 2x when it comes to the left hand side it will become minus 2x and the minus 3 will become plus 3 equal to 0 so there are no other x square terms so we will write x square and we have minus 4x and minus 2x so we have to add these two terms since the signs are same so write down the sign that is minus so 4x plus 2x is 6x and plus 5 and plus 3 will be plus 8 is equal to 0. Therefore here we can notice that this equation is of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. This is the standard form of the uh, quadratic equation which is similar to the equation we, we got. And we also can notice that the a is not equal to 0. In this equation, a is equal to 1, right? The coefficient of x square is 1. Since a is not equal to 0 and it is of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, therefore, we can say that the given equation is a quadratic equation. Therefore, the given equation is a quadratic equation. So this is how we solve this problem. Similarly, let us solve the other three parts of the example 2. So the second part of the example number 2 is x into x plus 1 plus 8 is equal to x plus 2 into x minus 2. So first of all, let us simplify the left hand side equation which is given as x into x plus 1 plus 8. So we have to just multiply and open the brackets. So x into x will be x square plus x into 1 is x plus 8. So this is the left hand side equation. Similarly, write down the right hand side equation and simplify. So that is what is given x plus 2 into x minus 2. So this is similar to the formula you must be knowing a plus b into a minus b is what a square minus b square okay this is very much similar to this formula where a value is x and b value is 2 so this will be a square is here x square minus b square that is 2 square 
So, this will be x square minus 2 to the 4, this is the right hand side. So, let us equate the left hand side with right hand side now. So, what is the left hand side we got? x square plus x plus 8 is equal to right hand side we got as x square minus 4. So, let us send this uh, right hand side terms to the left hand side. Therefore, we get x square plus x plus 8. So, this x square if it goes to the left hand side it will become minus x square and this minus 4 will become plus 4. The signs will change when it goes to the other side of the equal to sign. So, this will be equal to 0. Just check first are there any x square terms? Yes, we have an x square term here. So, this is plus x square and this is minus x square. So, these two terms will cancel out each other. Then we have to check for the x terms. So, there is only plus x here. Then we have plus 8 and plus 4. So, we add 8 plus 4 it is 12 is equal to 0. So, now we can notice that this equation what we have obtained it is not of the form ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. It is not of the form since there, are, there is no x square term here. Therefore, we can say that the given equation is not a quadratic equation. Initially, by just seeing the x square terms, do not assume that it will form a quadratic equation. We have to simplify the whole equation. After simplifying, when you get the result and this looking at the equation, then you can say that it forms a quadratic equation or not. Now, the third part of the example 2, the question is, x into 2x plus 3 is equal to x square plus 1. So, let us first simplify the left hand side equation that is x into 2x plus 3. So, opening the bracket and multiplying with the x. So, 2x into x will be 2x square plus 3 into x is 3x. So, this is the left hand side equation and let us equate with the right hand side now. So, we will get 2x square plus 3x is equal to the right hand side part equation is x square plus 1. So, let us send this right hand side to the left hand side. We will get 2x square plus 3x minus x square and this plus 1 when it goes to the left hand side it will become minus 1 is equal to 0. You can also send the left hand side terms to the right hand side or you can do vice versa both ways you can follow. So, let us check for the x square terms first. So, we have 2 x square and minus x square. So, 2 minus 1 will be x square plus x square. Then again we have to look for the x term. So, there is only one x term that is plus 3 x. Then we have minus 1 equal to 0. So, here we can observe that this equation forms a quadratic equation when we compare to the standard form the quadratic equation that is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 where the value a should never be equal to 0. So, here the value of a the coefficient of x square is equal to 1 therefore this forms a quadratic equation. Therefore, let us write down the given equation forms a quadratic equation. So, similarly let us solve the fourth part of the example number 2 which is x plus 2 the whole cube is equal to x cube minus 4. So, we, let us take the left hand side first that is x plus 2 the whole cube. So, you can observe that it is of the form a plus b the whole cube, a plus b the whole cube. You should know these formulas very well to solve these kinds of problems. So, what is a plus b the whole cube? It is a cube, a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. So, let us use this uh, formula and apply it to this x plus 2 the whole cube. So, first term will be a cube. So, this will be x cube plus 3a square. a square is here x square b, b is again 2 plus 3 into a is x plus b square is 2 square, ok 2 square plus b cube, b cube is 2 cube, ok. So, let us simplify this equation. So, x cube 
plus 3 2s are 6x square this will be 2 square is 4 4 3s are 12 into x is 12x plus what is 2 cube 2 2s are 4 4 2s are 8 okay so this is the left hand side and let us equate this with the right hand side part so we will get x cube plus 6x square plus 12x plus 8 this is the left hand side which is equal to the right hand side equation which is x cube minus 4 so let us send this right hand side equation to the left hand side so you will get x cube plus 6x square plus 12x plus 8 sending this x cube to the left hand side we will get minus x cube minus 4 will become plus 4 equal to 0 so since we have the x cube term so let us check for another x cube term we have here minus x cube so plus x cube and minus x cube will get cancelled then we have to check for x square terms there is only one x square term that is 6 x square and next is x term we have 12 x then plus 8 and plus 4 will be equal to plus 12 is equal to 0 so again we can notice that it is of the standard form of the quadratic equation that is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 here where a should not be equal to 0 so therefore the a value here that is the x square coefficient is a is equal to 6 therefore we can say that the given equation forms a quadratic equation therefore the given equation forms a quadratic equation so here you can notice that there were x cube term also so initially by just seeing this equation don't assume that it does not form a quadratic equation after simplification we will come to know that whether it forms a quadratic equation or not so with this we complete the second example problem in my next video i'll be solving the question number one from exercise 10.1 .1, chapter number 10 quadratic equations so till then please like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.